For making hay infusion, prepare the following. Pond water, dried sacarum spontaneum, also known as talahib, yeast, two transparent containers, white cloth, scissors, and rubber bands. Prepare the two transparent containers. Label it with, with yeast and with no yeast. Put the dried sakaram spontaneum or talahib inside it. In our case, we cut our leaves into halves so it will fit inside the containers. After putting in the leaves, pour pond water in the containers. Make sure that they have the same amount of water. We noticed that our dried talahib leaves are insufficient, so we decided to add more dried leaves. Put a tiny amount of yeast on the container with the label with yeast. Cover the amount of the containers with white cloth and secure it using the rubber bands. After that, cover the container with its original lid. Keep the samples and store them for minimum time of 2 weeks. For the laboratory day, prepare all the following. Microscope, glass lights, cover sleeps, and the hay infusion. First of all, make sure that you're in your proper laboratory attires. Wear protective gear such as laboratory gowns, gloves, and eye goggles if necessary. Prepare the materials needed. Set up the microscope and the specimens. Observe the specimens under the microscope under time stand magnification. Let's observe the first specimen. The protist that's present in this specimen is Euglena. Euglena causes Chagas disease, human African trypanosomiasis, African supping sickness, Kala Azar, and various forms of leishmaniasis. Let's observe the second specimen. sample from the jar with yeast. As you can see, 
This specimen has way more protists compared to the first one. The yeast that we put served as their food which helped them grow in size and numbers and also helped them reproduce more. So far, the protist that's present in this sample is still euglena. This organism is called nematode. Nematode is the type of protist that causes ascariasis, chicoriasis, hookworm, enterobiasis, strongyloidiasis, filariasis, trichinosis, girofilariasis, and angiostrongyliasis, rat lungworm disease, to humans. So this is our output for our general biology subject under the topic of protists. We hope this educational video served as a guide to you on making hay infusion and observing the protists under the microscope. Thank you for watching this video.